Hello there, my name is Tom Crandall from Gear Mashers. Today we're talking bike locks, specifically the Avis 440 alarm. This is a U-lock by Avis. Retails for around $100. Uh, you might find it a little bit more, a little bit less, but I saw it on Amazon for around $100. Uh, pretty cool lock. Obviously, U-locks are really popular with people and really easy to use. Um, this one has three positions when you put in the key. So first position is just to have the bike locked. Um, it's not gonna make an alarm go off or anything like that. Then the next position is to unlock it, just like a regular U-lock, you can unlock or lock. And then there's a third position where it sets the alarm. And so you'll hear a little beep when it's set and then if you start messing with the lock, so I'm just going to mess with it a little bit, you'll hear that double beep. And then if you continually mess with it, so I'm going to mess with it again here. Maybe I'm trying to break into the bike. You'll hear this little alarm go off and it'll go off for maybe five seconds. And then now you have a hundred decibel alarm sound. One thing I did find with this is when this alarm actually goes off, if I put my hand on it, it really reduces the audio of the alarm. And so once the alarm goes off, it goes off for about 15 seconds and then it will reset and then it, you'll start hearing that double beep again and then it'll go off again. To turn off the alarm, you just insert the key and then you can turn it off. Real easy to turn off. The, the way the batteries are set up is if the U-lock is inserted in here, you can't pull out the batteries. So they're pretty much secure. Once you pull the U-lock out, the batteries are really easy to take out. You just pull off this rubber gasket here, or rubber housing, and then you can pull out the housing that contains the batteries. It has a CR2 batteries. Um, the battery housing is plastic. I would have preferred it to be metal. One thing I did notice is one of the tabs that holds this metal piece to the batteries has already broken and I've just been playing around with this. Um, so I would have had them actually design it metal and that way the tab probably wouldn't break off. But the actual part of this is really solid. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any issues. But again, uh, once the alarm goes off, it's pretty easy to quiet it um, just by using your hand. So I would have probably put maybe some more holes in here or something so that uh, maybe more sound can come out of the size or something like that. Um, so it's an interesting uh, lock. It does add a little bit more security than your traditional U-lock. So for again, for size comparison, so here's the 410 and this is the 440. So obviously, you're going to be able to set up your bike a little easier probably with this because it just has more room to work around uh, bike stands and things like that that you might lock to versus this guy. I also have, this is the Bordeaux 6000 and if you check up above here I'll have a review of that. Actually I have a review of that, video review. Um, this is a little bit interesting as well. So the way this lock works is it is an alarm lock. And let me see here. So this uh, section here, if you push it into the lock, that arms the lock. And so now, just like with this one, if I start shaking it, you'll start hearing that audio click. And then it's like, okay, someone's messing with this lock. The alarm should go off here. So the alarm goes off. Again, this is a uh, hundred decibels, so it's pretty loud. And trying to cover up the alarm doesn't work as well on this design, which is a better design in my opinion. And then to turn it off, I just unlock it and then pull this thing out. One thing I did like about this is when I disengage, or when I turn the key to unlock, it turned off the alarm. This one you have to pull this section down, seems like, in order to get the alarm to go off. Um, other two locks I have here just to showcase, um, this one's by Pinhead. I find this one really cool. They have a funky key that it has notches 
on the inside here and so when you put it in and you move the notches it will unlock or lock the lock and it's the, the cool thing about this is I can't imagine a lot of thieves would see this they're not going to be able to just use a traditional pick to pick this um, and it is hardened steel so it's probably a little bit harder to break than say a u-lock um, so th I thought this was sort of interesting and then this one's not bad either this is by uh, hip lock it's a chain lock and so you have your traditional lock that's pretty thick here um, again you know a good thief could probably easily pick this lock but having a chain on there does make it a lot better anybody that's using cable locks you need to throw those things away they're really easy to defeat uh, i was talking to a girl just this past thursday uh, who had her bike stolen she just had a traditional cable lock and someone just went in cut it they actually had video from the uh, camera outside of the building that she parked it at and the guy had some cable cutters and just cut the cable really quick and then took off with her bike. So I don't recommend using cables at all. Um, I do recommend using two different manufacturers locks and uh, two different lock types. So example, a U-lock like this guy would be good and then maybe something like this or a chain lock. Now I know it is sort of a pain to carry all these locks around. Um, usually I'll put them in a backpack or maybe a saddlebag or something like that. Uh, and that's just what you have to do if you live in a, a city that's got a lot of bike theft. So anyway, um, hope you like this little video showcasing this guy. Um, it, it's a U-lock, it's not too bad. The, the Bordeaux guy, he, um, this one retails for $169, so it is more expensive. They, uh, Abus does have another lock, another U-lock that's sort of cool. It's called the 770, I think, 770A. Uh, it uses Bluetooth unlocks, so you don't have a key. Um, so they rate that at 15, which is their highest rating. So I guess because it doesn't have a key, you can't pick it, so that means you have to actually cut it with something. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool as well. Anyway, check out the description. I'll have links to Amazon for these locks. Also, check out GearMasters.com if you want to find out more about this pinhead lock. And I'll put a link in the description as well. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.